mountains give you glory. The rocks cry out for you. Patri music is the musical worship expression of Patri Family Church. The songs that we sing are the songs that we write in our local context as part of every nation, as part of the global church. The release of our first single, Resounding with Creation, forms part of a specific seven-year journey. We are both humbled and excited to share this with the world, and we are thankful unto God for His faithfulness in our lives. We pray that you will be blessed and deeply impacted as you worship God with us. Resounding with Creation is a song birthed out of an intimate moment of worship, personal worship moment for me. I remember I was sitting on the couch one load shedding evening, so the power was off, and I was just urged to go and write, to go and worship. So I went into my jam room and just started worshiping God. I was reminded of this picture of creation just worshiping God 24-7 um, always. And out of that came the moment of worship from, from us, from me. And that's where the second verse comes from. Um, the mountains give you glory and so will we. If creation sings your melody, then louder will we, because you are worthy. So with creation we resound. When we get to the bridge of the song, we sing holy, holy, holy. Every time we rise, we sing holy. And that's such a, a response of worship. It's a continual lifestyle of worship. Every time we rise, we just sing holy because He is holy. At the beginning of my songwriting journey, I remember God telling me that He will teach me everything that I need to know. And He's been so faithful in doing so. And so I can testify of this today, that He's been so faithful. When we heard we were going to record this song, I was so excited and expectant for what God's doing. Um, we had such fun as a team recording and just playing around with different things and parts. It was such an amazing journey to be a part of. And the music video was so fun. <laughs> Our journey of songwriting started in 2015 when our eldership encouraged us as a worship team to start writing our own songs. And that's exactly what we did. We obeyed and we walked in the blessing of the eldership and we started to write down songs. And it was a difficult journey in the beginning, but as a team we've grown and God has shown His faithful hand in the process. Although we're excited to put the song out on various media platforms, the sole purpose for it was not to record, to actually launch, but it was to be faithful and obedient with what God has given us. It was coincidence that this song was actually recorded, and coincidence is often referred to as God being undercover. But we were faithful with the song, and we recorded it, and now we're excited to actually share the local expression with an international family. God's Word says in Psalm 133, that where there is unity, He commands a blessing. And if there's one thing as a team that we've diligently guarded, that we've built in, is unity. And this is for us a blessing, because we believe that out of this unity, God's blessing is going to flow into the nations. As Patria Music, as a Patria Worship Team, we really focus on family. And often I'm asked, and often I think of, what do we have to show to people for a seven-year journey when it comes to us personally as a team, having been journeyed for seven years? And a big exciting announcement is we've got relationships to show. We've got deep friendships to show. The song Resounding with Creation was not intentionally recorded for the sake of putting out on various platforms. As a team, we recorded the song for the sole purpose of online worship, as with COVID-19's online church services. We spent some time to record the audio, and then we were to make the video to post for that Sunday. And only after the audio was recorded, we recognized as a team that none of the team members were available for the same time to make the video. So we just spent a month on the recording, and here's the product. Even our album cover has a very significant story. In the year 2018, December, going into January, God gave me a word of a sandpaper-like illustration. I was busy at home, sanding down my floor trims, painting them, and God dropped this into my spirit that He was busy sanding down us he was busy preparing the surface of our hearts so that the paint that he was about to paint on will stick. This was in December 2018. September 2019, God gave a team member, Renal, a very specific dream of the person that's actually going to design our first album. Now, we didn't write songs because we had a person that's going to design our album cover, but we knew that it was coming. And we were continually faithful 
with what he's given us to do. What makes the album artwork even so more significant is that this person who he's going to meet in a few moments didn't know about the story. And when he presented what he felt God lay on his heart, we were both blown away by the detail of how God has worked in us as a team and as a family. So I'm the guy Raymond just introduced. Um, my name is Ruan. The process has not only been a, m the most important part of my practice, but also for this project. Factura is a formal element within art elements to decipher and decrypt artworks. Um, it was a term constructed by the Russian constructivists, which reveals the process in which artworks have been made. The material process revealed in the marks that have been left behind. The factura can be seen where the lines and the fingerprints are visible in the image. By pressing down um, onto the running sanding belt, I burnt in my fingerprints into the image and used my nails to create very specific lines. By force, these two, one being in, with friction and the other being static, by pressing down, it created what you see. I sensed that I needed to use sandpaper and without knowing the significance of it and um, after hearing Ram Raymond's testimony, the significance was just too real. It was even more than I imagined. And I don't know if you can see, but I don't have any fingerprints left. <laughs> Patch of Music has been a seven year journey being faithful and obedient to God's mantle, mandate and anointing that he has for us as a local church and as a local worship team. Resounding with creation is part of the fruit of seven years of lessons learned, seven years of training, seven years of discipleship, seven years of unity, seven years of mistakes, seven years of the luxury of hindsight, seven years of deep relationships and seven years of laying down what we wanted and waiting for God's sovereign timing. We sing the song you placed inside, resounding with all creation. How great you are! Look and say, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. give you glory the rocks cry out holy are you lord creation sings a melody gives praise to you only you are worthy the mountains give